Good evening. Welcome to the Pasco County Pathways Expo 2021, the virtual option. Just wanted to welcome you all to this session that will deal with athletic opportunities in Pasco County schools when relating to school choice. Um, my name is Matthew Wicks. I'm the supervisor of, of athletics for Pasco County Schools. Some important things you may want to remember about the application window. All applications will be submitted through your My Student account. Um, some important dates to think about, um, K through 12 controlled open enrollment, school choice window, the application window starts January 6th through January 20th. And then once we review all applications, the notification window will be from February 23rd through March 4th. A little bit about who we are as Pasco County Schools. This is our, our one of our main slides that we like to really talk about. Um, it's about our mission and vision. And it's our, and our theory of action. Um, if we create a unifying vision of instructional excellence for all for schools, define the behaviors we believe will lead to success in schools and provide the necessary supports from our teams, then staff efficacy and student achievement will increase. Um, you know, we, Pasco County thrives on those three main points right there in the middle of that logo, high impact instruction, <clears throat> collaborative culture, and data-driven decisions. <clears throat> and we really want to take this to the, to the next level for all of our students because we really want to make them college, career, and life ready. So these are our five pillars of instructional excellence. Um, we, we strive to build strong content knowledge and apply learning to new contexts. We want everyone to think critically to understand and solve real world problems. We want to collaborate and communicate to learn within and outside of our school communities. We want to utilize a variety of tools and resources to enhance learning for both students and teachers. And we want everyone to take ownership of their own learning and reflect on their learning progress. So as we get going, I just wanted to kind of clarify a couple of talking points um, about the requirements to play sports in Pasco County. Um, there is a minimum GPA requirement to play sports in Pasco County, and that is a 2.0 GPA. Uh, in middle school, that 2.0 GPA must be attained um, at the end of each semester. Um, and in high school, uh, same, you, you have to attain that 2.0 minimum GPA at the end of each semester. And in high school, it becomes a cumulative GPA once you enter the second semester of your sophomore year, junior year, and senior year. Um, it is a 2.0 cumulative GPA. Um, we follow the rules of the FHSAA, which is a Florida High School Athletic Association. Um, so we abide by those rules and regulations. And later on this presentation, I'll give you the website that you can reference those rules and regulations if you, if you desire. Um, we ask that our students do not receive discipline or have any referral issues at their school, but that is subject to additional school and coaches policies. A lot of times our coaches do have um, civility policies, they have behavior policies um, that they want in place that, that shows their, their students are um, outstanding examples uh, within the school and the community. That way they, they continue to be able to participate on the teams. Um, we do follow all guidelines of the Pasco County Schools Student Code of Conduct that has to do with dress coding, that has to do with um, students that uh, may be getting in trouble outside of school, that also has to do with things around social media. Um, <clears throat> just want to make it clear that uh, for school choice students, when you do school choice to a particular school, that does make you eligible um, at that school to play athletics. Um, and that is based on our current open enrollment policy. So a couple of different examples. Number one, if you choose to go to school at Wendell Crin, um, your, um, you will either play sports at your zone school if you live on a school east of the Sun Coast, or you'll be assigned a school to participate in sports based off the bell schedule. We have to do that because some schools are late schools, some schools are early schools. So we have to make sure that we give students the opportunity to get to a school to be able to play sports. Um, when you attend any school in Pasco County, you can only play sports that that school offers. Um, and I'll get to that more in a little bit. Um, we, we require uh, a certain level of paperwork, um, Pasco County Schools paperwork and the FHCA paperwork. All of those pieces of paperwork must be submitted um, to the athletic director at the school um, or the coach at the school before uh, your student athlete is allowed to try out. 
Um, and then once you have tried out and make the team, you must pay a participation fee for sports um, in Pasco County. That is at the middle school and the high school level. Um, here's a little bit about what we offer um, in middle school sports. So all of these sports you see here are offered at all middle schools in Pasco County. Um, so in the first quarter, we have um, cheer, football, and girls volleyball. In the second quarter, we offer um, cheer, girls basketball, boys soccer. Third quarter, we offer cheer, boys basketball, and girls soccer. And then in the fourth quarter, we offer boys and girls track. So generally that, when you see that cheer first, second, third quarter, that's generally the same cheer team. They just go, they have a little bit longer season because they cheer for football uh, and then girls and boys basketball. So that those are the, again, we offer all sport, all of these sports at our middle schools and um, that middle school GPA is determined based off of each semester's grades. So our high school sport offerings, um, these are based off of what sports the FHAA offers. We do, uh, there are sports that the FHA offers that we do not offer in Pasco County um, as a whole. <clears throat> For example, like bowling, um, sand beach volleyball, those are just examples. Those are sports that some schools around the state offer, but we uh, do not offer those in Pasco County for our students. <clears throat> we offer sideline cheer in the fall. We offer football, uh, girls volleyball, boys and girls cross country, boys and girls golf, and boys and girls swimming and diving. And generally, with most of these teams, except for a few, um, we do offer a JV team and a varsity team. Um, for cross country, golf, and swimming and diving, there are no um, JV teams. Um, they're generally just one team. But for cheer and football and volleyball, there is um, JV teams. Um, in the winter, um, we switch over from competitive, or sorry, sideline cheer to competitive cheer. Um, we have girls weightlifting. We have boys and girls soccer, um, also JV um, boys and girls soccer, boys and girls basketball, and boys and girls wrestling. And then in the spring, we offer boys weightlifting, uh, boys and girls track, um, <clears throat> boys and girls lacrosse um, at select schools. We have currently have eight schools that have lacrosse. Not all have boys and girls. Some just have girls and some have boys and girls. Softball, um, baseball, and boys and girls tennis. Again, baseball, softball generally has JV teams, um, weightlifting, track, lacrosse and tennis, those do not offer JV teams varsity only. Some of the athletic resources um, I just wanted to bring to your attention in case you had additional questions um, or provided or, or needed additional feedback. Um, the FHA does have a website. Um, they do have some detailed information, rules, regulations as it regards to each sport. Um, and that is www.fhsaa.com. Uh, if you need additional Pasco County athletic website information or resources, um, that is our website. If you go to the district homepage uh, for Pasco County Schools and go to the top where it says departments, click on departments and then look for athletic unit at the top um, area of that section. You should be able to find that. That's the same website that is right here. And you can find all that information um, on the district website. So on that website, you'll find school contact information for your athletic directors. At the schools, you'll find required forms. Um, there are some required um, courses that student athletes have to go through, online courses uh, as a compliance piece for the, the High School Athletic Association, which also governs middle schools. So any student athlete in Pasco County has to, to do certain um, things around heat illness and sudden cardiac arrest um, and concussion and things like that. So those are, those are required yearly as well as the athletic forms and any type of payment information about the, the fees and so forth. That's all on that Pasco County Athletics website. Um, we are on social media. Um, we're on Twitter at Pasco CO Sports, Pasco County Sports. Um, we do post a lot of things. Uh, we ret retweet a lot of things. A lot of our schools use social media for um, events, promotions, um, we have live streaming. So a lot of our schools live stream events. So we promote those. We are on, we have a lot of schools use online ticketing. So you can buy tickets that way through their accounts. So a lot of schools have social media accounts. So it's a great way to keep in touch with your child's school or find out more information about tryouts and, and different things like that. So Twitter is a 
very popular outlet of social media that schools use to make announcements about athletics. And again, my name is Matthew Wicks. I'm the supervisor of athletics. Um, my number is 813-794-2755, or there, that is my email. Um, you're more than welcome to reach out um, to me at any time and ask questions. Um, you can also, while you're on the district website, um, you can also go on and you can fill out a let's talk um, question or comment if you need to. Um, there is an athletics section. So if you have trouble, you know, email me or whatever, you can always go on let's talk and find out. Um, if you have any additional information or questions, I will be on um, after this um, is over. I will be on for additional questions. Thank you, and I appreciate you attending tonight.